Hello, this is Jay Lee. Hope all is well. I just want to thank everyone for coming to our UFO sighting event on July 28th, 2019. Uh, I think we saw 35 objects this day. It was really, truly amazing. I was able to capture some weird stuff with my telescope, but I also missed a lot of good stuff. One of the things that I ended up missing was about six to eight flashing objects in a cirrus cloud. Right when I was closing in on one, another one would flash in. It was too hard to capture. But what I was able to capture was a couple of flybys. What was interesting was that they showed up and flew by the letters and numbers that seemed to be floating up there. But even the letters and numbers were strange to me. Anyway, I wanted to show you what we were able to capture, but I also wanted you to keep in mind that we set up this event a month in advance. We set the date, time, and place and announced to the world that we would be there. Not only that, but we also said that we'd probably end up seeing UFOs. This is a great opportunity for those who have never seen a UFO to finally see them in person. People that attended our events were told to juice up their batteries and bring their cameras. I personally bring a telescope and hook it up to a high definition television so that people can see what we see through the telescope. We also let everybody know how we do this. We basically telepathically call for them to come to our location. And strangely enough, they show up. And when they show up, we, I mean the eyewitnesses, try to capture them with their cameras and video cameras and telescope. It's very exciting and it's really a magical time together. I highly recommend it. So here's the deal. I think we saw about 35 objects this day. What's the chances that we see 35 objects in the skies other than planes and birds? Do you think that if you drove five miles north or five miles south of our location that you would see the same number of objects? Or what if you followed the wind pattern five miles down the road? Would you be able to see more? I would say that most of the objects that we saw either went north or east. Here's the kicker. What are the chances of you seeing two flybys this day? Or capturing on video things that appear to be balloons but reveal indications of imitations or variances in structure, size, color, and movement? I think that if you tried statistically, you would realize that this is abnormal, some sort of anomaly. So let's check out this first flyby. So what you're looking at is captured footage from my ETX-90 telescope uh, with my Sony A6000. I would say it's about a mile, mile and a half away, and it's captured at 62 times zoom. So this one appeared to be a uh, like an upside down L. I don't know why anybody would tie a tether at the very top of the L. Because if you tie a tether to the top of the L, of course it's going to uh, inverse it and uh, sink to the bottom. And that's what we're looking at here. Why would anybody do that? So you have to think, this is unusual right off the bat. This might be significant. This might be what we call a leader. A leader is something that they show us so that we'll follow. And upon following, something weird ends up happening, like a flyby. Oh, I'm just going to the water. Can you see it's it? Like orb. Yeah. It's right there. Tell me when I'm in the middle. Uh, oh, the it's bottom, right on the bottom, orb. up, up. There it goes. Oh, there's an orb yeah, above it. Orb. So we're observing this upside down L, and then Sean ends up, uh, through his binoculars, ends up noticing a flyby shooting by. Great eye, Sean. Several of us uh, eyewitnessed this, uh, this event uh, passing by this leader. It was definitely a look at me moment. So being able to look at this footage later, uh, this object passed by at 38 miles an hour, about 57 feet per second. I don't think a drone could do that, even at a mile, mile and a half up in the sky. What you're looking at here is a UFO. Most people call it an orb. And here's the second flyby. Same thing, they were probably about a mile, mile and a half away. But you could see what's What's weird is that they're entangled. I think it's a, it looks to me like a five and a two. Entangled letters or numbers are highly unusual. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like this. It was definitely strange looking. You know, these things from a mile, mile and a half away are like as big as a dot in the sky. This one traveled a little bit slower, about 10 feet per second, about six, seven miles per hour. But thank goodness I was able to get more footage out of it. This one was another beauty. Here's the other thing I thought was weird and I hope you noticed. Did you notice that the bottom hanging number seemed to follow the orb as it traveled through the sky? 
It almost seemed like it was being magnetized by this orb that was passing by. This is not the first time that I've seen this. I've seen this multiple times. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Please join LA UFO channel on meetup.com and join us for a UFO sighting event. You'll probably end up seeing a UFO, kind of like the reporter from the New York Times. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.